सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन ऑफ दिस डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम ईच मॉड्यूल्स एंड वी आर येट टू स्टार्ट विद मॉड्यूल वन ओके सो फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री वी हैव सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डी एफ टीज विच आर नॉट डिस्कस टिल नाउ ओके सम प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन मॉड्यूल टू दैट इज ए लीनियरिटी एंड पीरियोडिसिटी प्रॉपर्टी एंड वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दोज टू ओके so there are some additional properties of the, the dfts which we have till now we have not discussed yet one is circular time shift property and another one is circular frequency shift property which we are going to see in the next video okay so in this session we are going to deal with the circular time shift property i'm just going to tell you the property uh, that how it works and uh, with one example problem uh, which is uh, very important okay the problem is very important one question would be sure from uh, circular time shift as well as circular frequency shift okay so yeah in this session i'm going to discuss the circular time shift property uh, prob uh, how it works okay the question would be very tricky okay you should be uh, the in this kind of prob problems you should be under, uh, recognizing which property we need to be using and how we should be solving that i'm going to tell you how so yeah uh, we are going to start with this property now those who have not seen my previous videos of uh, dsp it is available in our playlist channel of uh, all the modules or so some of the important topics have covered it you can check it out okay so let's start now circular time shift property it says that dft of x of n minus m where this m stands for the number of time shifts okay this m stands for number of time shifts dft of the sequence is equal to x of k e power minus j 2 pi k m by n okay where m i have told you right what is m number of shifts taking place okay so this is basically the circular time shift property formula so now let us see one problem and an analyze this property and try to solve one problem okay first you should be understanding the question very carefully so here the question is the two sequences g of k and h of k are six point dfts okay they have given that they are six point dfts of sequences g of n and h of n okay these two are the six point dfts of the particular sequences which they have given here one is g of n and another one is h of n now they have given g of k they have given g of k as a 6 point dft that is uh, some complex terms they have given 1 plus j to minus 2.1 plus 3.2j minus 1.2 minus 2.4j 0.9 plus 3.1j minus 0.3 plus 1.1j okay this is a 6 point dft the sequences are g, the sequences g of n and h of n are related by circular time shift okay in this question they have mentioned it okay some of the sometimes they won't be mentioning uh, which property so in this question they have mentioned it so it's obvious that we should be using this property and solving okay as h of n is equal to g of n minus 4 6 okay this 6 stands for 6 point dft okay and also i have told you in place of m that is number of shifts we have 4 okay now determine h of k that is g of k is given and we should be finding out the value of h of k without computing the dft you know the general method of solving the problems for dft right now without computing dft using the circular time shift property you should be getting the sequence h of k this is our goal okay yeah so let us uh, uh, first we have analyzed the question now first let us write the data here what is given we know that h of n is given as g of n minus 4 okay now for this let us uh, write the circular time shift according to this uh, property let us try to write this okay that is h of n is replaced by h of k that we should be finding that is equal to g of k e to the power minus j 2 pi k and in place of m what we have according to property in place of m what we are having 4 right so into 4 divided by 6 okay that is 2 ones are 2 3 sir so we are left with g of k e power minus j 4 pi k by 3 right yeah so this is one equation we got okay this is without computing dft we have used the circular time shift property now we should be finding the each of the terms that is of a six point sequence right for h of k since they are mentioned in the question g of k and h of k are six point dfts okay so all the six points you should be finding that is from h of 0 to h of 5 okay 
just substitute the value of k as uh, first k equal to 0 okay how we do in dfts that is h of 0 in this equation only and g of 0 e power minus j 4 pi k by 3 what is g of 0 they have already given the sequence g of k right so this is g of 0 so substitute that 1 plus j into what is e power minus j 4 pi k uh, uh, 4 pi k, uh, the k value they have given it as 0, so this is 0, so this whole term would be 0, that is e power 0, that is equal to 1, right, so what is our h of 0, first term we got it as 1 plus j, okay, so now similarly uh, find all the 6 terms and uh, write our final sequence h of k, that's it, okay, very simple, for k equal to 1, again h of 1 is equal to g of 1 e power minus j, 4 pi k where the value of k is now 1 divided by 3 so it is 4 pi by 3 so that what is g of 1 now minus 2.1 plus 3.2 j into my e power minus j 4 pi by 3 in the calculator it should be in complex and radian mode okay keep it in mind then the equation we know right cos a minus i sin a press the calc button the value of a here it is 4 pi by 3 so this is our answer that is minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.86 i okay so after multiplying these two terms okay that i am not going to do it again you can do it after multiplying what answer we get is minus 1.7 minus 3.4 j okay this is our h of 1 you can check it later by multiplying these two terms okay h of 0 h of 1 similarly find h of 2 3 4 5 and finally write the sequence h of k okay now let us find the other terms now next is for k equal to 2 that is h of 2 is equal to g of 2 e power minus j 4 pi into 2 the value of k is 2 divided by 3 right so that is 4 2s are 8 so it here we get 8 pi by 3 so h of 2 is equal to what is g of 2 minus 1.2 minus 2.4 j from the sequence given in the question into e power minus uh, j 8 pi by 3 okay now cos a minus i sin a the value of a here is 8 pi by 3 4 2s are 8 right so 8 pi by 3 so this is our answer minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.86 j okay after multiplying what we get here is minus 1.46 plus 2.23 j okay so this is our h of 2 similarly find for h, h of 3 that is g of 3 e power minus j 4 pi the value of k here is 3 now divided by 3 so 3 3 gets cancelled h of 3 equal to g of 3 now what is g of 3 g of 3 is 0 0 into any term uh, e power minus j 4 pi Okay, 0 into any term is 0, so directly we can write h of 3 is equal to 0. Okay, next for k equal to 4, that is h of 4, g of 4, e power minus j, 4 pi into 4 by 3, that is equal to 16 pi by 3. So what is g of 4? g of 4 is 0 0.9 plus 3.1j into e power uh, minus j 16 pi by 3 in, in place of a now write 16 pi by 3 minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.86 j so after multiplying this our h of 4 we would, we would be getting it as minus 3.11 minus 0 0.77 j okay so this is the value of h of 4 you can check it later by multiplying always keep in mind by doing this DFTs and all, the calculator should always be in complex and radian mode. Okay, then only you should be solving these problems. So now final value for k equal to 5.
h of 5 that is g of 5 e power minus j 4 pi and in place of k it is 5 by 3 that is 4 5 are 20 so 20 pi by 3 so the value of g of 5 is minus 0.3 plus 1.1j into uh, 20 pi by 3 the value of a 20 pi by 3 that is again minus 0.5 minus 0.86j okay after multiplying this our answer we would be getting is approximately equal to 1.09 minus 0.29j okay so these are the values we have got h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 4 5 okay now finally we can write our sequence h of k which we have computed without using dft and by using the circular time shift property we have uh, found this answer okay the answer is first h of 0 is equal to 1 plus j then h of 1 is minus 1.7 minus uh, 3.4 j h of 2 is 1 point uh, what we got here minus 1.46 plus 2.23 j h of 3 is 0, h of 4 is minus 3.11 minus 0.77j and h of 5 is 1.09 minus 0.29j. So this is our final sequence of h of k. Okay. So like this we have found the sequence h of k using without using without computing DFTs by using the circular time shift property as mentioned in the question by using the sequence of g of k okay and also they would be giving you one relation in that relation also we, we can recognize either by using a, a circular time shift or frequency shift because in this relation they have mentioned n minus m or n minus 4 in the property it is x of n minus m so in this in, in place of n if we have k that would be circular frequency shift property which are going to see in the next session okay Similar to this time shift only just uh, the inverse uh, rule of this that is the next property which we are going to discuss in the next session that is circular frequency shift property okay. So like this uh, only these kind of problems should be coming for uh, exam okay it is very easy okay hope you understood this. So that's all for this session guys I have uh, explained you with one example the circular time shift property. So please like share subscribe to our channel uh, stay updated to our channel and please uh, do uh, spread this channel to a huge number okay thank you.